the light bulb moment in my own awareness of uh, our impact as a family on the environment actually was something that one of my children said. Um, so I was talking to my daughter about uh, the need to switch off lights at night and that sort of thing, or switch off lights during the day in any case. Uh, and she said something to me about, uh, well, Dad, actually, your generation is largely responsible for the, the plight we're in now. And hearing her say that, and it wasn't said in a spiteful way at all, it was absolutely honest and just said from her perspective. But it really brought home to me that we have a responsibility uh, to the younger generation as we have a responsibility to others alive now, others who will be alive, and to other people who live in different parts of the world. In Genesis chapter 1 it says that we are to rule over the birds of the air and the fish of the sea and the creatures that move along the ground. We are stewards of God's creation. That's our job. That's what he's called us to do. And so we must go out there and do it. I think God made the world for us to enjoy and to live in, but we mustn't spoil it, and certainly not spoil it for next generations, and we need to take care of it and not consume more than we need. And I'm a firm believer in why do we want to let all our heat out of our walls and windows, you know, with some very simple insulation and solar panels and this sort of thing, you can make a very big difference. And it is better for us to live in. It's not just that it's good for the environment, it's a better way of living. At the very end of the Bible, in the book of Revelation, a new heaven and a new earth heaven and earth brought together, the good in uh, the physical creation fulfilled uh, in God's ultimate plan. And the fact that that is, that God doesn't discard the creation that we have now, but he fulfills it, to me says what we have now is so important and we need to take care of it because it has eternal value. My wife and I were, were privileged to have children and grandchildren. And my prayer would be to see them grow up in a world that has learnt to love and tend and nurture creation uh, and to see them flourish and to see creation flourish. Human beings, the global community, finally taking its responsibility to, to nurture creation. Mm -hmm.